Hello and welcome to Shark Bait News. My name is Henry. First, let's talk about COVID-19 and the occurring new variant. There's a new variant spreading fast called the Mu variant, also known as B1621. The COVID-19 virus strain was initially discovered in Colombia in January 2021. Scientists say the variant is worth watching because of Mu's prevalence in 39 countries and 49 states in the US. But a lot still is unknown about the Mu variant. It was not labeled a variant of concern, which only would happen if reliable data shows the variant is transmissible or has worrying characteristics like a Delta variant. On Thursday, September 9th, the president spoke to the American people about his robust plan to stop the spread of the Delta variant and boost vaccinations. The president will lay out a six pronged strategy involving both the public and private sectors. School districts have started an announcing plans for reopening this fall, including mask policies, social distancing rules, and quarantine protocols. Many districts are still finalizing them. If you are currently enrolled at Suffolk County Community College, all students taking in-person classes are expected to be vaccinated in order to fight against COVID-19. The Food and Drug Administration has given full approval to the COVID-19 vaccine. As a result, all SUNY institutions, including SUNY Suffolk, now require all students coming onto campus for classes, activities, or events to be fully vaccinated before September 27, 2021, which has already passed. Vaccines are widely available throughout Suffolk County if you're considering getting a vaccine after the due date. You can go to sunysuffolk.edu slash coronavirus slash index dot JSP to find vaccination locations. We will be back to talk about the weather after the following message. Hey, are you registered to vote? If not, then you should know based off of census.gov, millennials are the only age group to see an increased voter turnout compared to other generations since 1980. To make sure your voice is heard, you can register to vote at your local post office, town hall, library, visit the DMV website, or you can download an online form at SuffolkCountyNY.gov. If you're interested in voting by absentee ballot, the option can also be found at the Suffolk Board of Elections. These applications can either be emailed in or hand delivered. Don't forget to visit SUNYSuffolk.edu or the college's official Facebook page for more information. Shape your future and make your vote count. Welcome back to Shark Abate News. I'm going to pass it over to Sam for the weather. Thank you, Henry. Now, as you can see here, a few showers early with overcast skies later in the day. High 68, chance of rain 30%. Now, later that night, overcast with rain showers at times. Low 56, chance of rain 40%. Later on, on the week and Tuesday, rain showers in the morning becoming more intermediate in the afternoon. High 68, chance of rain 40%. On Wednesday, partly cloudy, high 69. On Thursday, a shower or two possible, early with partly cloudy skies in the afternoon. High 70 and a chance of rain of 40%. And on Friday, a shower or two around the area in the morning, then partly cloudy in the afternoon. Chance of rain 30%. That's the weather for this week. I'm going to pass it back to Henry. Thank you, Sam. We will be back to talk about food and some fun activities to do on Long Island. According to the Association of American Universities, it is estimated that one in five college students have had thoughts of suicide, and one in four are diagnosed or have been treated for mental health issues. Continuing to decrease the stigma related to mental health and encouraging students to reach out for support when they are struggling is key to a student's success and wellness. Visit your campus's counseling center to speak with a mental health counselor if you need support. For more information, go to the college's website at sunysuffolk.edu and search mental health services. We are back from our break. I will now hand it over to Sarah to talk about food and fun places to go on Long Island. Thank you, Henry. It is now fall and you are looking to go apple picking this fall season. Check out some locations on Long Island, such as Hank's Pumpkin Town. You could choose a wide range of apples, including Ultimate Gala, Macintosh, Honeycrisp, and more. 
There are, other, there are also other activities such as a wooden playground, maze park, market, and gem mining. If you want to discover more places to pick apples this fall, there'll be many more farms to look up, such as Richard's Orchard and Harb's Orchard. Every place you visit respectfully follow the COVID-19 rules and mandates. I'm going to pass it back to Henry to wrap it up. Thank, thank you, Sarah. It got me hungry for some food right about now, which is the perfect time to wrap it up. My name is Henry, and thank you for watching Shark Bait News. Catch you next time.